Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and then in today's tutorial, we're trying to learn about building web applications with microformats, right? So these microformats we'll be trying to work with are Express.js and then Flux. So what is Express? Express is a JavaScript microformat which is very, very powerful. It is built on top of, it is built on, on top of JavaScript and then to work with Node.js. It's very, very useful when you're trying to build simple, basic web applications. The same way, as well as complex ones. And then Flux is also a Python micro framework, which is used for building web applications. And it's very, very powerful. So this is the official website for Flux here, right? And then the official website for Express. But to be able to use Express, you need Node.js. So you can just go to this official website and then click on it and then install it. And then to use Flux, you just need to install Python. That is the most important thing. So first of all, let's see how to install them. Okay, so what you need is you need to install Node for to be able to use Express. So uh, when you click on it, just follow next, next, next. Now, if you want to check if you already have Node, so just go with Node V. I'm going to give you the version number, which is quite interesting. Now, to install any JavaScript package, right? You just go with npm install g for global, then Express. So that's what we'll be using. So when you go with this, it's going to install Express for us perfectly. Okay, so that is how to install Express. Now, to install Flux, to just go with the same format. It is going to be pip install flux right that is how to install flux which is quite interesting okay so they are quite similar right npm install g express and then pip install flux which is quite interesting now when you are trying to work on a simple environment to be able to have access to all the packages you need for a, a micro framework it's very important to use this npm in it so now let's see how to do that in it's already it has already been installed so i'll go back to my folder here we have two folders right one is for express and then one is for flux right so to be able to work with it you can just go straight away to here this is for the express and this is for the flux so i'll go back to my right okay so now let's start when you are trying to work with simple basic Web application is better you have to have a package.json file you can work without it but when you have that format to be able to help you to have to be able to re replicate it reproduce it easily so to just, just go with npm npm init i'm going to ask you some questions right so it's going to ask you the package name so the package name is that that is the name of the package just go with version the same thing description let's call it as uh, express simple app then entry point is index.js but if you are using index.js you can just go with enter but if you want to change just go with app.js right and then the test command nothing better tree nothing keyword nothing water the carriers just see then lances nothing right so it's going to give you a package or json file right and if you check the file here, what is if you check here, you realize that there's not this folder is empty, right? But by the time you go with this, it's going to give you this. Yes, I'm going to create a package.json file. So when I check it here, you realize that it has created a package.json file. So what is on this packet? So what is on this package.json file is whatever thing that you need. All the information about it so anytime you install another package inside it it's going to show you a dependency so now we need to install express inside it so let's go with npm install then express dash dash save so if you go with dash dash save it's going to add this package to your local package or just one for you to use it for this one so perfect it takes some time to run so you realize that here there is only a package.json file here, right? But by the time it finishes saving, it's going to give us a node model with a lot of stuff inside. Perfect. So it has finished, and instead I just created a folder called node models with a lot of things, all the necessary requirements that you need to allow it to run, right? Which is quite interesting. So inside our package.json, if you check it back again, here it has added our Express Petri installed, right? Nice. That is something very basic. And let's see how to build our app. So I'll close this. And inside here, inside my app, I'm just create a file. 
and I'm going to call the file as app dot js right this app dot js must correspond to this one that we created here right so that's where it's going to run it from okay so to build a simple app just go to var it can be const then express then require so the require is trying to tell us that require this thing for us like import these things for us right so import express so anytime you import a package and you want to use it just go with require right then we're going to initialize our app to so app. Then we're going to call it as Express. Perfect. Then that is all. So the most important thing now we have been able to have access to the app, initialize the app. So we need two things. We need first of all app.get, which is going to get whatever thing that you want. And then we need app.listen. It's going to be what is going to be listening to something, right? Going to be running and listening to that, so I'm going to give it a port of 4000 and then I'm going to add a function to it. So, function and inside this, my function, I'm going to save it as this. Then, I'm going to console.log. Then, let's say listening on local host, right? Local host. 4000 perfect so now we are being able to do this thing simple so now to be able to see whatever is going to work our route you just go with something simple with a slash and then this backslash right that is the first step then we go to put a function because they are running on all of them are running on functions then that's all so it this function requires two things it requires a request and a response you can make it as it i can spell the food stuff and then we need to be able to send whatever it is so we are requesting something and then we are sending something so response dot send hello well this is express right perfect so we have been able to build something very simple now let's see how it's going to work so i'll go back to my app here so I have my app dot file to run it just go with new app dot js. So listen on local post four thousand. So if I come back to my local port four thousand here, one to that and then four thousand, right? Perfect. So this thing that we wrote here, hello world, this is express, is perfectly here. I just have to build a very simple basic app in express now let's see how to do that same thing in flux right not in express but rather in flux so this place is going to be for flux so okay perfect so now let's see how to do that in flux i'm not going to stop it i'm it's still, let's still let it still run so inside my flux app i have a folder and there is nothing there so i'm going to create two files there i'm going to create a simple file and I'm going to call it as app dot app dot pi, right? Perfect. Something simple. Now we're going to see how simple and similar these are. So to do, to work with Flask, we have to create a simple Flask app. Just go with the same thing, something similar. So from Flask, we need to first of all import it. So from Flask, import Flask, right? That is a Thing like doing just like in this place, we are importing or current a package called Express in the same way we are importing Flux, right? Then we need to initialize the app. So we're going to go with app, it's going to be Flux, perfect, right? Which is similar to this thing here. Then again, we need to be able to get a route to where, the, where the, we're going to be saving it and then something to listen to it. It's going to be app, so it works with decorators, so it's going to be app dot route. Then perfect, right? Then I'm going to give it a function, just like this place there was a function here. So here too, there's also a function. So function, and then the function is going to be let's call it as index. This. this function is going to take any argument, then return hello world. This is flux, right? 
perfect so you have been able to do that perfect the next thing is to be able to listen to it so the most important thing is just go with if main right so the if main is quite interesting then app dot run if it is going to be running for it then you're going to set as debug is called to true to be able to listen to see all the errors just like this one too we are trying to see that it's running that is the main thing so it is very simple and very similar so let's see what our app is going to run let's go back to here right so to run it just go with python app.py going to run on point point five thousand you copy this one and then let's paste it here so perfect see that it's actually working in a very nice way right so it is working here so hello world this is flux so that is how to build a very simple basic app in both express and in both flux it is very simple and very basic so the most important thing is first of all you need to import right the most important thing is first of all you need to what import it right so you import your app just like we do here then you initialize our app just like in express here then you create a route to it which is this one and then this accepted a function right so this must also accept have a function which is similar and then this one to listen to it and then this one to listen to it that's the basic ideas about it so you have been able to see how easy to build a simple app both in express and in flux without any difficulty so if you know express can just transition transition to flux if you know flux can just transition to express it's very simple and very similar thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution can just inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.